Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool, and today we're going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to do what's inside. Now, I'm going to do something pretty practical, and I am actually have a really good uh, ambience here. Nice background. We have our pellet stove fire going. Uh, but this is the multi-tool. This is the PBL MT50. Now, I've had this for a little bit. I've done a few videos on them, but I have noticed one thing, and that's the button is really hard after some time to actually use. So I figured it would probably be practical to take this apart. Let's check the inside of it out. And then maybe we can fix the problem and we can check out to see how this actually works. So stick around. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm going to be using a T10 Torx and we have 10 screws to take out in order to get this open. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's pull it apart here. Oh, and there we go, it comes right off a wishing. So, this is the inside, and as you can see, it is really dirty. Okay, and the switch, actually it's, uh, let's take a closer look at the switch. You can see it's, it's not a button, it's, it's just a slide that moves back and forth and it has this little piece right here. It's kind of hard to see, but that, see if I can just pull the whole switch out here. Or the, the slide lever, okay, there we go. Oops, so that's all that is. And as you can see right here, that's just a on and off, very simple, uh, you know, spring actuated switch with a set of dry contacts inside. And all this does is it slides over top of it and it clicks down onto it. So uh, there really shouldn't be anything. So I think this would be friction based and how dirty this is. Um, maybe it's some of the drywall dust and everything else. This really has no protection or no filters around it. So I can only imagine that the biggest problem that we're gonna have is that the uh, it's all this dust is really impeding the path. It's probably getting caught up on here as well. Uh, so let's clean this out. But before we do that, let's just take a look. Um, we have this is the this is the speed controller here. So this just steps up and down the speed. Um, this is the control board for the whole thing. This is obviously your contacts for your battery. This is your switch. This is your brushless motor here. This has the shaft that goes in here. This is just a little coolant fan that helps cool the motor and the windings inside. And this is your transmission case or your gear case right here. And this is what creates all the oscillations. And this is very simple in how this works. So here's your gears right here. And you actually have a little rubber boot that goes over top of your gear. So that helps protect it from wear and tear. And then this just spins, nice set of bearings in there. And then that oscillates, that turns. And then you get a lot of vibrations out of here. It's just a lot of small movements and that's how you have your, your tool. Now, this is where you have your LED for your lighting. This is just your motor. But since we're gonna clean all this, let's just go ahead and take it all out. Okay, and that's it. How easy was that? That's all that took, and that's all this is right here. So, let's see, positive, negative. Let's just hook this up real quick, and let's just watch it work. Sound good? Make sure we don't get our hands on it. Okay, here we go. Turn this so you can see it. I'm going to press this little button here. Make sure I don't have my hands anywhere. I'm going to get zapped. So that's a really smooth motor. All right, let's turn it all the way down. Do it again. Let's go ahead and just clean this up. But let's put it all back together and, and just see how it works now that I've got it clean. Okay. So this shouldn't be too hard. We know where the motor goes. We know where the speed controller goes. 
I mean, it kind of has. Okay, and just to make sure everything's going to work just fine, just push this in. Okay, so it's all back together. Let's test the button. Okay, it's back to normal. That's how it's supposed to be. So it looks like the only problem is, is that there's just a lot of dirt and, you know, grime and in my case, a lot of drywall dust. So if you're using this for drywall, most certainly something you should look at is uh, <laughs> keeping this thing clean. No, let's just put this back in. If you're having the same issues, maybe this is something that will help you. And also, if you're wondering what it looked inside, well, maybe this helps you as well. So I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.